Hello friends, I'm Dr. Randeep Guleria. I'm currently the chairman of Institute of Internal Medicine and Respiratory and Sleep Disorders at the Minhanta Institute. I'm also the director of the Minhanta Medical School. We all are aware that medicine is making huge changes and we're seeing huge development and advances in technology as far as medicine is concerned. And that's also happening in the field of respiratory medicine, whether it be diagnostics or therapeutics. In the arena of diagnostics, newer, newer and newer tests are allowing us to diagnose diseases in a more refined manner, whether it be bronchoscopy, endobronchial ultrasound, or uh, cryobiopsies, we are able to diagnose lung diseases better and therefore offer more precise treatment to our patients. When it comes to therapeutic uh, strategies, new drugs are available. We have now new biologicals which are available for different phenotypes of severe asthma. In the past, asthma was treated just with bronchodilators, inhaled steroids, and we all put them into one basket as treatment for asthma. We now know that asthma is a heterogeneous disease with different phenotypes, and we have the eosinophilic asthma, the non-eosinophilic asthma, the neutrophil dominant or neutrophil phenotype of asthma, and we have different treatments available like biologicals, which include drugs like omalizumab and anti-IgE therapy, or biologicals which are anti-IL-5, anti-IL-4, and newer biologicals are also up in the market. Therefore, I think it's important for us to be able to evaluate our patients properly, to be able to see what is the type of asthma they have, is it really a severe asthma or is it a difficult to treat asthma, and if it is a severe asthma, what is the phenotype of asthma that the patient has and the treatment that we can offer these patients. So I think when we talk of now advances, we are looking at new therapeutic approaches, whether it be bronchial asthma, interstitial lung disease, and we're also looking at new ways of diagnosing diseases, whether it's asthma, where we're looking at the exhaled breath, we're looking at various lung functions and newer interventions, which are, is actually going to change the way these diseases are going to be managed, diagnosed and treated in the future. So I think it's important for all of us to know what is the type of disease that a patient has and that's why referring your patients at the right time for getting the proper diagnosis and the right treatment is very, very important. Mm -hmm.